everyone, Becky Durant here, buyer specialist with Ginger and Company at Keller Williams Realty. I'm on my lunch break and I wanted to chat with you a little bit today about for sale by owner, perception versus reality. Why would anyone in today's market even consider putting their home on the market on their own? Well, as you can probably guess, the number one reason is to save on commission costs that you'd have to pay a licensed real estate agent. Unfortunately, saving on that commission cost is going to cost you in net and in so much more. So let's talk a little bit about the facts and figures. Um, in 2015, only 8% of all homes sold were for sale by owners. And of those 8%, 21% were sold to family members, uh, relatives, and neighbors. Think about that. Only 8% in the entire year uh, were for sale by owners. So over the years, the last you know decade or so, um, there's been a decreasing trend for for sale by owners. So why is everyone catching on to hiring an agent? Well, because on average, if you use an agent, you will net 20 to 25% more. 20 to 25% people. And you're talking saving on commission costs. So let's get down to the nitty gritty. What you want to know is what an agent does for you. Yes, that's why we're here. So there are five essential things that a real estate agent will do for you in selling your home. Number one, understand and perform paperwork. So this is um, including all contracts, all parts of the contract, as well as negotiating um, throughout the due diligence process. Number two, getting the right price for your home. This is done through market analysis, um, understanding the market, the state that you live in, and knowing what the right price is at the right time for your home. Number three, preparing your home for sale. This is done by a team of people. This is um, taking pictures, professional pictures to put on real estate pages. This is staging, um, anything that maybe needs to be done ahead of time to, to get you more money in the end. And also, sometimes it's not always what you think it is. Sometimes people think that their house needs so much more work than it actually does. So having a professional agent that does this day in and day out is um, a great leverage for you. Number four, once your home gets goes active on the market, an agent will properly market your home in order to sell it. So this is a done through a variety of resources. This is signs, um, open houses, uh, professional networking, social media, and any other creative way an agent can think of um, in order to sell your home. So number five, and probably the most important for you, is the time and energy saved from the very beginning to that great feeling at closing when you get handed a big check. This is done to everything is taken care of for you. You don't have the headache and the emotional um, drain from you know having people traipse through your house and having to hear all the negative things anybody has to say. An agent is there for you from the beginning. So there you have it. There's the five things. Um, I have not even touched on the fact that any buyer that's going to be coming into your house, 88% uh, of them will be coming in with their own professional representation using an agent, which means they'll have somebody on their side looking out for their best interests, not yours, and you won't. So let's recap. If you decide to sell a house on your own, you will be spending more time, more effort, more energy, making less money, and having to do it all on your own. So next time you consider selling your home, just say no to FISBO and call Ginger and Company for a free market and home analysis.